John, congrats on the win. Thank you. What did you tell the girls uh, for the, you know, it's a non-league game, but this is against the defending CCS D5, uh, four champion. What did you tell them uh, in terms of to get them fired up and the importance of this game? Well, first I told them that, you know, last year I said, do you guys remember the game? And they didn't really remember. And I said, well, they do because we won. So they're going to come out ready. We need to come out ready. Apparently that didn't work too good. They came out and scored a goal real quick. Uh, then as I was getting into them at halftime, they admitted that, yeah, that got their attention. And I feel that we bounced back well. Uh, we faced some, faced some uh, good adversity so far this year and had to make some changes and been able to, to dig out of the hole. So it's uh, it was good to see them respond. Why, why is this sure. team putting so many goals on the board? Or how, you know? like How is yeah. uh, probably, I mean, when you have I don't know if you heard or not, but when you have your left defender yelling, don't look to Sarah, don't look to Sarah, when you're trying to not pass to your biggest weapon, that means you have a good problem. So yeah. I think we're just spreading the ball around so well. And I mean, you see Sarah, I don't know if that was a surprise to you, her service to Giselle on the second goal, but I expected that 100% and preach that day in and day out at practice and, and tell them, you know, stay with it, stay with it. She's not going to always go to goal. Who, who set up, uh, I don't want to massacre the name, but Luz Rees on her goal? Uh, that was a nice little finish, right? Was number, what number was it? Uh, zero. Number zero. No, Luce is zero, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who set her up. Okay. Do you know what she number? Scored, did she score the second goal? I believe she scored the second goal, the one that was bouncing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. yeah. yeah, yeah. Luce definitely scored the goal. I didn't see yeah. who passed said, it. Yeah, it was kind of in traffic. But what do you think of that type finish? Of in terms of beautiful finishes, that was maybe the least uh, of them. You know. Well, it's interesting because when Sarah was very young, that's how I used Sarah. She was my garbage girl. Yeah. She just got in just like Luce does. Anything messy, anything loose, she gets in knocks it in and I told you know that's what you're gonna do and at first she didn't really know how to identify her role but as soon as she as things started clicking she's doing it very well and uh so that's that's what I that's what she's there for a, a lot of times uh, you know some of the girls uh, you, have, you have your stronger shooters on the team sure but then it looks like you know and you're lucky if you have one like maybe one or two really good ones but then you know, after uh, Sarah scores from like 40 yards out on the cross body shot, I mean, in the second half, uh, Giselle shows what she has. And that was a pretty long range goal as well. Uh, who's got the stronger shot? Jeez, I mean, <laughs> I mean, when the ball leaves Giselle's foot, you see it, it's just like a plane taking off. You're like, that's, even if someone gets in the way, it's probably going through them, you know? Sarah, um, Giselle's was pure power placement as well, but Sarah's, like you said, very crafty. Um, that's definitely her go-to right there. That's that's the goal she scored against Presentation last year to, to get their attention to. So she uh, she has that in her bag of tricks. I tell her, try not to pull it out too soon, you know, because then once they do, the keep doesn't cheat. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, it's, it's really, really fun to be coaching these girls because I mean, in the back, we, that was our the first time we started that lineup all season. We we had and who was I don't, back there for you? We had Rosalind in the middle, Rosalind Alamet and uh, Maddie Narciso. That's Maddie's a sophomore, Rosalind's a junior. Yeah. And then on the outsides, it interchanged uh, between. I had to put in Cassie Sears on the outside to a little speed to catch up with mm -hmm. the, them as they were getting through and uh, playing a little chess. You know, it was fun. Sure. Um, yeah, but, Ro uh, Rosalind's a big uh, like physical presence back yeah. there. Yeah. And. Uh, the thing that's really neat is that we didn't even see today is that she's equally as good up top. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have that. It's just, uh, I won't even say we played people in third string today, but third option in different positions. And mm -hmm. still, like like Sarah alluded to, you know, we're just, it kind of, once they all bought in to trust the process, I mean, just play play the right ball and things will happen. You've been splitting goalies all year, but today it came down to Olivia, mm -hmm. uh, Iteria at all game. And she made some uh, some clutch saves in that first half. Yes, she did. And, then, and they pressured late and she still... Held her own, you know? Yes. She uh, she didn't play like a sophomore. She played like a senior. I thought she played very poised at the end. Uh, took command, you know? I've, I've not seen the verbal side of her yet. You know, she's played JV last year, and then she's been splitting with Emily this year. And uh, she's you could tell she was owning it today, you know? As I told you, you know, Emily had her tonsils out. So you're going to play the full game. And uh, she came out like she was in charge. And, and it was nice to see. Uh, she's definitely, her air game is strong as far as, like, knocking, swatting the ball out totally. of the corner and whatnot. Um, She's not as tall, so you kind of look past it, but all of a sudden that arm comes up. And <laughs> so, uh, she, yeah, I mean, we're deep in goalie even. Yeah. Who has that? You That's know? awesome. I mean, so it's, uh, it's great. And we had just, uh, I think the success comes from the fun and keeping it fun. And of course, when you're being successful, it's funner, but more fun. But <laughs> yeah, well, you guys are the defending champs and you have a target on your back. Uh, expectations for this year. I mean, your girls are obviously talking about repeat and, uh, and CCS title. Well, I told them if they're going to talk about it, then they need to show up every single day and think about it because 
everyone else that's going to play us is talking about it because that's, you know, what you do. You go and try to knock the person off on top. So um, I really like our chances. It's going to be really fun. Um, I've seen Aptos and Santa Cruz play, and they're both going to be tough. Kind of like today, I was telling the girls this yesterday, this is going to be a really tough game. And then I followed up with how fun it was going to be. And they were kind of like, are you crazy? And I was like, we need that right now. You know, that was a perfect test right before we start season. So that was uh, that worked out well. Awesome. Thanks so much, John. I appreciate it. Thank you.